Hello my friends and welcome to a new video. The second video in the ADAC 2024 Sim Racing Expo is about one of the, if not the, largest manufacturers for sim rigs in our community, Track Racer. So Track Racer is without doubt the company that brought the most new hardware to ADAC 2024. Under the guidance of Matt Sten, founding father of Track Racer, the Dutch crew was very helpful in showing me around, introducing me with much pride to all their new products. So, quit Novi. We start off with the TR8 Pro V2, which is a tubular sim rig I absolutely loved. The most striking update that was done is the new gunmetal color. As an advocate of bringing more color in sim racing, I could not be happier about this. Another change is some integrated cable routing with cables that can run through the tubes. The display holder was also raised as this was an issue with the older model that it came a bit too low. A last change that was introduced is a fortification of the shifter holder. So in all, quite a few changes but the general look of the TR8 Pro stays much the same. What is absolutely brand new are the wheelbases that Track Racer is planning to introduce. Much is not yet known about the specifics, but you will have the choice between three flavors, 12Nm, 18Nm and for the real hardcore drivers out there a 30Nm wheelbase is planned. What the Track Racer representative could say about them is that they would keep them as budget as possible. What that exactly means is of course open to interpretation, since my budget is yeah, probably not the same as what they have in mind. Nonetheless, first impressions of the wheelbases are positive and more details about them should be coming out soon. If you say wheelbase, yeah, you need to say pedals too. The pedals that I have seen were quite impressive and seem to be nearly finished. They will feature a 200 kg load cell and have every pedal separately adjustable. The brake will have different springs and elastomers to play with. The accelerator will have different springs and the clutch, which is for me personally very important, will have some sort of mechanical biting point, much like the Moza CRP pedals, where beyond a certain level of pushing them, they will feel suddenly much lighter in resistance. The mechanism to change the configuration seems very straightforward and looks tool free. I didn't get any pricing of them yet, but I expect that they will be introduced in early 2025. An ecosystem is never really complete without a shifter and handbrake, and in Q1 2025, Track Racer will have you covered for this too. The shifter will be a sequential one, and the handbrake seems to feature the ability to incline it in its bracket. A very nice addition that I have not seen in many other handbrakes yet. Pricing, unfortunately, is not known yet. There were three different types of steering wheels on display, around a rally type steering wheel, a more squared supercar steering wheel and a GT wheel with the option of an LCD or without. All the steering wheels are just early prototypes and not much more information was shared about them. Last but certainly not least as I expect this to have a serious impact on the market is the new TR40S. Track Racer has been in competition with the likes of Simlab, Simex Pro and GT Omega to produce the cheapest extrusion profile rig and at ADAC they turn it up a notch. The TR40S is a new budget sim rig which combines both 4040 and 4080 profiles. The base frame is made out of 4040 profiles and it has the vertical beams for the wheelbase holder attached to the sides with no less than 4 attachment points. The wheelbase can be attached via the front and side or simply bolted to the tray via the bottom. The beam holding the wheelbase is attached at each side with two bolts. At first glance it seems to be very firmly attached, but further testing will have to reveal if this proves to be enough. The configurability of the pedal seems to be the best available option out there. It consists of two different heavy metal plates that can be slid over two brackets that are attached to the bottom frame. To give it some inclination, the brackets can be slid up on the small pieces of 4080 profile. I really am glad that more and more companies decide to no longer include the pre-drilled pedal plate and opt more for a more flexible system like this. The optional seat that is uh, mounted on it is also new and consists out of two parts. This seems to be an innovation at different companies now to reduce cost of shipment. Now, 
for the part that got me really excited about the TR40S, it will retail in its basic form for 279 euro, which means more than 100 euro cheaper than the cheapest 4080 profile rig out there, the Simex Pro GTRS. I didn't hesitate to pre-order one myself and as soon as it comes in, I will be able to share the review with you. The rig should be available for purchase from November 2024 in all countries. As I did with every manufacturer I visited, I asked if they planned, with all this fabulous new hardware, to make some simulated driving hardware that can be used in ETS, ATS, BeamNG and so on. But here again, the accent is on sim racing. Simulated driving does not belong to the core of track racer products. A shame really. On the other hand, I did ask if they were planning on expanding on haptics, like the Next Level Racing HF8, and they said they were, well, they didn't confirm it, but I received the impression they are working on something in that area too. I think Track Racer made its intentions more than clear on this expo. They will be your one stop for turnkey simulated driving systems. A lot of what they showed is still in prototype stage and some things see even in very early prototype stage like the steering wheels, but nonetheless 2025 promises to be a very interesting year full of releases of Track Racer hardware. It will also be interesting to see how Track Racer will compete against Corsair Fanatec and Trustmaster to become the biggest manufacturer of simulated driving material. Thank you all for watching, I have a few more videos about this subject that I am busy creating, so if you don't want to miss them or the review of the TR40S, subscribe to the channel. I will see you all next video, bye bye.